everybody, my name is Dechir Isakovic and in this tutorial I will show you basic functionalities of my application. This application is called Bus Reservation and as na name suggests, user will be able to reserve a bus for his particular needs or he can also, he or she, can reserve a ticket for particular line or bus. So this is the landing page for any user, whether it is the admin or ordinary, ordinary user, he will get this page as landing page. Uh, in this page, uh, if you scroll it down, you can see this table that is actually the snippet of some uh, lines and where buses go from and where do they go and what is the departure and arrival, expected departure and arrival time of, of as well as price of this uh, particular ride. Uh, here there is a short description about what company does, but it's actually just the, the random text for the, for the purposes. So uh, first you, we will uh, try to log in as being the admin. So my username and my password. <clears throat> uh, so when admin uh, is logged in, he has several functionalities. So first he can see all buses uh, which company has and uh, we, we can see basic details about these buses. So uh, also we can change some information about these buses. We can here see a snippet of uh, image of this bus as well as name, brand and all these things. But if we click on some bus, so we will click on this Mercedes printer on this uh, row. Uh, and then uh, we get the model with all details about this. And we can change these details. We can change maybe the name or what is the brand on, or is it tourist or VIP or what kind, type of bus this is, as well as the price per day, color, and, and all these things. Uh, for the testing purposes, we will just say great bus. And we will say that year of manufacturing is 2009. So uh, if you click here, you can upload upload the picture for this particular bus, and we also can change the picture. But we will not change it. We will uh, let it be like it was. And then if we click submit, uh, then this uh, bus is going to be updated. And next time you click on it, you see that the you know, manufacturer is 2009, and it description great bus. Uh, next thing is that you can also delete the bus. So if we delete a bus, uh, all reservations of this bus that are connected to this bus will also be deleted. So we will now delete it just for testing purposes. Uh, and here you get a little pop-up model that say that you have successfully deleted this bus. Uh, we will now, uh, we will now uh, go to manage lines. Uh, so manage lines is actually, you can also uh, manage the details about uh, some particular line. So if we click on this Tuzla to Berlin line, uh, and also we you can here see uh, what is number the uh, passengers that will go on this particular line and uh, what are seats left. So what is capacity <clears throat> that we, uh, of passengers that we can, that can go with this particular line. Uh, line. So here is some uh, search. So if you search for line that goes from Sarajevo, and if you press this search button, you will get all lines that goes uh, from Sarajevo. And also we can here search for all lines that, that uh, goes to Berlin, to, to Belgrade, but we don't have any of these lines. So if uh, uh, now you can see this uh, particular for Zenca from Tuzla. So there is this line from Tuzla here. Uh, we can change details about this uh, about this line and also capacity and all these things. And we also can delete this line. And uh, we can uh, manage bus reservations, but there is no any uh, upcoming bus reservations, so there is nothing to be managed. Uh, next rule that a user can uh, uh, that user can be logged in as is this ordinary user that actually can reserve bus, reserve ticket and all these things. So first we will register a new user. Uh, for testing purposes, we, he will be called test123. His surname will be again 
test one, two, three. Date of birth will be today's day. So we, you can see this uh, cool uh, jQuery plugin for, for date. I will use my own email uh, because you will also get uh, some email notifications about all these things. Test123 is going to be his username and his password. So there are several uh, things in this particular view. So first, uh, I used Ajax uh, for this uh, checking of whether password and all these fields are good uh, in order to be inserted in database. And if password is valid and if this password and confirmed password fields are, are same. So if we click it like this, uh, you see that uh, error will be shown for, I think, for two or three seconds uh, and saying that password fields need to be same. So every one of these fields has its own validation. So if we go Gmail just, he will say that email needs to be needs to be uh, valid as well. Uh, and password needs to be really, really strong. It needs to have several characters. So you, you can see it should be at least eight characters long, contain uppercase and lowercase letters and with one digit. So it has to be a really strong password. Uh, once you click, once you <clears throat> have met all of these uh, requirements, you can register. And uh, when you are registers, when you register, you will get the, the email that the uh, user, that you have successfully registered and that we have to glad you, uh, we are glad to have you on board and all these things. Uh, I even made my own uh, little logo just for just for fun. Uh, and now we will log in as being test one two three, and we will provide our username and password, and then we will be uh, so you can see my little logo. And now we will be uh, redirected to a uh, home page of user. So home page of user, so user have has a, a lot of functionality. So first he can reserve a ticket. And uh, again, there is this search bar. You can search. So any bus that goes from Sarajevo or even we can say any bus that goes at, that goes from 12th of uh, August, October. And if we press search, we will get all buses that goes uh, before that uh, that day or before before that day. So uh, you can see if we press on some line, we can see details about it. Oh, departure time, arrival time are not here, but they are. Uh, so if you press Tuzla and Berlin, you will have so this Tuzla Berlin uh, line. Ticket price is 120 uh, ban or our uh, money. And that capacity is 60 seats in total, and that nobody has reserved this particular line. So if we reserve a line, uh, you, we will get uh, more details about it, who we are, our telephone number, name, date of birth, and all these things. And if a user passes a limit of, I think, uh, five, uh, 500 uh, KMs, uh, he will have discount of 10. 10% uh, percent, but uh, this user is new user and he will just uh, confirm a new new reservation of this line of his ticket and you get here uh, some model uh, saying that you have successfully reserved a ticket and all your ticket reservations uh, are uh, shown here and also you get email notification that you have successfully uh, reserved ticket and all details from it and this uh, in real life can serve as you as proof that you have reserved ticket and then you can buy uh, pay this uh, amount of money uh, to a respective person uh, next thing is that you can uh, also reserve a bus uh, so first thing you need to say from uh, uh, when you want to reserve a bus in order to see whether which buses are uh, which buses are available for your uh, reservation. So we will say 12th of October, 
from 9.30 until uh, 19th of October uh, 5.45 uh, p.m. So when we search uh, this, we will see all buses that are available and uh, all details about these buses. So we will uh, want to reserve maybe Mercedes old timer. Uh, and when we press, we can see all details about this picture. Uh, is it tourist? What is type price per day? And uh, as well as total price. And if we want to reserve this, uh, we can reserve a bus. And then uh, we will get email notification that we have successfully uh, reserved a bus and also the bus details, Mercedes old timer, and that our price is uh, 12,494 uh, km or BAM. Uh, and in this My Bus Reservations, uh, actually this is that tab, uh, you can see all of your bus reservations. If you press on this, you can uh, uh, cancel your bus uh, reservation. If you cancel it, you will again uh, get an email notification saying that you have uh, uh, canceled your uh, bus reservation. And uh, we can again reserve a ticket, reserve a bus, so on reserve a ticket, uh, we can also cancel a reservation. If we cancel this reservation, we will get uh, have an email notification saying that we have uh, canceled our ticket. So uh, these are all, these are all functionalities. So we just gone through it like clearly click quickly. And if you are interested in more videos, please subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching.